about sexual assault or child molestation, mel molestation. molestation within the black community? Why yes. is it one of those oh, things that are perfect. don't get me started? Are so I hush. Want to watch the TV and talk about um, the I feel like started. it's like the same thing when it comes to. Um, it's closed door, period. But like, you do understand that like it happens in the family, and then they cover it up. Cover it up. No one else knows about no it. But now this child is now damaged. But everybody around them knows that this happened. But she can't speak up for herself. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you think we should handle these situations mm -hmm. in our community? Well, I feel like that happens because it's something that's like a generation, as they call it, generational curse, or like it's something like if you could talk to any black family within the community happened to their mom, their mom mom, their mom or and it's always just like a common topic but yet so hushed. Like I think they should have the cover and stop covering. I feel it up. like it's this whole like nourishing thing, protecting their family from the system. It's like, okay, if I do include authority or whatnot, it may make it worse for me for the family. I think it's ignorance. Yeah. Ignorance and uh Ignorance and um, you know how in the community um, the black community you're like it's your family love your family No matter what you don't do certain things to your family mm -hmm. that that that's it for me I will think if you molest my child, it doesn't matter who you are You're going to jail or if you're not going to jail just best believe I'm going to jail Seriously, it's not denial. It's not denial. It's not denial because they are well aware. And then the people deny. A lot of people deny. Yeah, they hush. It's a hush. Yeah. But then this is what I say too. If you don't get proper counseling and proper, you know, encouragement, you know, to 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 just tell them, listen, it is not right. You know what I mean? That child will grow up thinking it's okay. It happens to me, so it's okay. You're going to get over it. Uh, you know what I mean? And they don't understand that this will affect okay. you and affect how you um, live your life throughout society, how you treat people, how you treat your worker, how you treat your co-worker, how you treat men, how you treat women. It will affect you in so many ways you don't understand. And it's not even happening to just girls anymore. It's it's not, I mean, not not even anymore. It's boys are going through it now too. I have a friend. It was happening long time ago. It's just that he didn't know about. Right, I have a but friend that the, but there is some six, seven year old boy is being you know younger, molested. That's why I tell you, man. If you molest my child and I bring you to the court and I see the court is not doing anything, then I'll go to jail. Cause best what? believe I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> That's my child. Oh dear, you hurt my child. What can an eight-year-old do to you for you to molest that child? What kind of a rose you can get out of an eight-year-old? What kind of Did you see the movie fantasy Christmas? you can get out of an eight-year-old? What kind of feelings you can have for an eight-year-old? That fetish. is sick. Whoever watched the movie Precious? I years ago. Long time ago. Yeah. And then some some the mothers be know too. it. Right, yeah, and because the man is bringing in certain thing and have she in a certain lifestyle, she wouldn't do anything about it. Actually, him. it wasn't even precious. They were, they were talking so about it once about with him. a dance, was a dance hall queen, or yeah. what's one of those? Uh, dance hall queen, dance dance hall yeah. Queen. yeah. Oh my yeah. god, where they yeah. sold her for the chicken, yeah. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, the, the man, yeah, for the Kentucky, oh, Kentucky oh, chicken, it wasn't yeah. for the chicken, he was providing, providing, he was just providing, yeah. period. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he was providing, so she <laughs> gave his daughter for a oh, chicken. The child will come and tell you, and you call him a liar. Yeah, that's part yeah. of the thing. Yeah. So yeah. in the community that we've lived in, um, and I think right how now, how do we handle it? Right now, and this is where I would say I like the generation we're in now for things like this because people are getting more vocal about it, and it's out there now, and you can go, you will know that hey, this is wrong. You know what I mean? Or you will get put on blast or, you know, it's easy to go to the cops. They will believe you as a child. You know what I mean? So for now, back in the days, you will have a taboo. Ush, ush. Right now in Jamaica, there's a case that uh, the judge find that uh, some 18 year old man that molested his little um, granddaughter, something like that. And it's now being called up in court. You know what I mean? But back then, she never knew what was going on until now, so she reported it. So now justice is being served. So this is why I would say I like this 
No, because it's out there now, so there's What's nothing right. So there's nothing taboo about it right now. You know what I mean? But this no, is where the importance of sex is still nothing. important to have with your children. Not even to say like the directly sex, right? But if a five-year-old or a six-year-old or seven-year-old is now being molested and they know that sex is supposed to be safe for an adult, wouldn't they more stand up and say to their family or their parents, say, "Hey"? Mom, Dad, this person has put me in the situation. No, this is you what you need to say to teach your child. Teach your kid and tell them good touch, a bad, bad touch. touch, exactly. Yeah. So they that, will know. Immediately. But if so they're not instance, telling us about any of the other things, how they tell us about good touch, bad touch? Yesterday, I had a conversation with my godson, and he thinks that shut up is a bad word. And I said to his mom, he told me to shut up. He's like, no, no, I did not tell her the bad <laughs> word. That's not true. I did not tell her the bad word. So. That being said, you teach your child about good touch and bad touch, let's believe you're going to hear that child. Mm -hmm. Oh, he touched me in a bad, with that bad touch. Because mm -hmm. child, kids nowadays are very, very, very vocal. Mm -hmm. They will tell on you in split seconds. Mm -hmm. But back to your scenario of um, good touch, bad touch, right? But what if that child now goes to their parents and says, Hey mom, auntie or uncle so-and-so touched me. Mm -hmm. How many times have we heard the story of like, or not story, but that go about you? You're not telling, don't you're not telling the truth, or it's unbelievable. You're a kid and he never touched you that way because you know they shut you off because yeah. they're like, oh, you're a child, you're not talking sense. But I've told you, so and so bad touch me. You know what I mean? There's so many scenarios that nowadays I don't think that is happening now, where parents are shunning you. It's too vocal out there. So many abuse are happening. They know what to do. Then you're going to ask that the kid, when did, did you hear, when did you do? This false awesome touch you. Don't, yeah. Right. React straight to the police or authorities. Yeah. You're already brought up not to like go, go to the or not to, to snitch or you know what so I mean. So it's like a you're. But know. nowadays, I don't think that a mother would sit or in this country a mother would sit. I'm just saying. I don't know. Sit and not know, speak and up for their that. child. Yeah. yeah. Listen. But, yeah, no. No be. matter how we look, right? Society change, things change. Mm -hmm. If you don't teach your kid, you go to school, they learn as well, right? And they will tell their teacher. And they'll, if they don't tell you, they will they tell, tell the teacher. Yeah, right? because teacher to them is God. <laughs> it's <laughs> out there in society, but you still have a few people that will cover it up. That still, still cover it up. Mm. If you say, oh, my stepdad is doing that. No, you know what I mean? Mm. So it does still exist. Don't think it's all back there, mm -hmm. it's still there. You just don't know about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And people are now talking about it 30 years later. I know I, I have like, a... When I look at two, one time I was watching this school thing where this mm -hmm. kid get molested. And then I'm hearing, you know, oh, kids tell lies. That thing haunt me, you know? If I was there, and like, what if I was shooting them if I have a gun? Mm. <laughs> Everyone wants to kill because, me. Oh, I <laughs> no, the point is, look at me. If a three-year-old will come and tell you, a three-year-old will come and tell you, like, oh, mommy, Daddy caught me dead. Where a three year old going to know that? Where? No, for me, I don't cross lines with kids. I love kids too much, so I don't cross lines with kids. And if a child come to me and tell me, hey, money, do this to me, best believe. I'm believing that child and I'm going to address you, money. Of course. I'm going to address you. So if you tell me it's a lie, you have to prove to me that my child is lying. You understand what I mean? Because until you can prove to me, before I give my child to see And that my is why children child. don't go telling and that their is why, parents yeah, anything. Yeah, that is why children, because, because when you it, go, when you don't believe your child, your child will yes. not tell you nothing. Because when you go as a child and sometimes a child confid confide in you, after child gone, you you gone. A child never reach out to think, God, John, hey, what's so, 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 so. You know what I mean? And then there's a child. Oh my God, I just tell her something. Whatever. You you understand? Mm -hmm. You can. She's not. They're not gonna tell you. So that's why. Yeah, parents. And some black parents, parents are very interested in drugs. Yeah, black parents are very interested. Yes. I believe most people, some of these people that are doing drugs, they're doing drugs to hide, hide a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that they go through. Right. Because mm -hmm. if you sit and talk to them, they will hear, oh, some of them. I remember talking to this guy, he's like, yo, my, my stepdad abused me, my dad abused me, and my uncle abused me. Like, seriously, you can't. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I tell this guy, do not take drugs. When he says that, he thinks back on all of those stuff and it affects his mind. And that is why some kids get bullied in school too. Because if your house is not safe, mm -hmm. you know, there is not a go-to person in your house to believe you when you tell them something. Of course, when somebody bullying them out there, 
they're gonna take the dissolve mm. to be bullied. Yeah. Well, that's even like these I men that the together. men's how we're yeah. creating even husbands, right? Mm. I know of a specific person where when he became a husband, he his he was abused by his father, mm. or he didn't. His father left, but then he was abused by the stepfather in a way. So then, when he became a Be husband, abuse or sexual abuse. Uh, just maybe even verbal, not even beaten, verbal. Mm. But when he became a husband, he had no idea how to be that supportive or that lover or all that stuff. Because you could see that the child in him was still angry yeah. and bitter. And he just portrayed that into his relationship. And this is where I would say he did not get a proper counseling. He did not go through yeah. the proper channel. Because if he did go through the proper counseling and all, you wouldn't be seeing all of these behaviors. And it comes right back to what I'm saying. Um, no, I'm not calling people in, okay. but I went to a counselor already. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. I almost killed myself because of that counselor. Especially, I don't trust and I don't like black counselors. I'm sorry to say it. Mm -hmm. I went to a counselor because of something. You know what this woman tell me? You go inside. I think when you be in a counselor, mm -hmm. first of all, in your office and people coming to you to tell you personal things or whatever, you're supposed to have that place as a welcoming place. Mm -hmm. Because, come on, if I walk in here and just your attitude alone, because trust me, when you go to shit and hell, you could read people like a book. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm already like in building, building up my stuff, mm -hmm. right? And then I go in with this bitch. You know, <laughs> and then whatever, and then first of all, like go in, Joan. And then like, yeah. it's like what the hell? <laughs> you have face there on top of it. And then it's like, um, yeah, how may I help you? And she didn't say anything in a friendly way or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think counselors should go through certain things too, so that you could know. I'm not saying people cannot be empathetic uh, and be sympathetic. What Just I'm wait saying. a minute. No, no, no. Wait. I'm going to tell you. Anyway, I'm going there and, you know, and stuff like that. And the attitude alone that she has, make it so I'm talking to her in this tilted way because I'm not comfortable with her, mm. right? Anyway, after this lady don't listen to what I have to say, you know what this woman tell me? You guys from the Caribbean coming here and picking up the white man's stuff and coming and whatever, whatever. What, what are you airing your dirty laundry for? Leave it alone. Let me tell you something. I don't know how I find my way out of that building, <laughs> but it is it's down at College Street. And I walk from College Street to Caledonia where I was living. I don't know how I reach. Just Listen. No, 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 no. Let me finish my story. So I'm telling you, so don't always think that you may be a good counselor, but there are some shitty ones out there also. Mm -hmm. And I'm very passionate about it to this day. No, no, I didn't tell my boss because my boss is the one who rec uh, recommend me to go and see this counselor. So about a month later, my boss said, um, did you go and whatever, whatever? And I said, yeah, but this is what happened. My boss, and you, why didn't you tell me? So when she go now and she call up the executive director down there, they fired the bitch because this is what she was doing to black clients. That's why black people always have is to be white? white. No, she's black and she's Caribbean. Okay, and, no, and, and, and this is why, I don't care. This is, no, you see me when I'm passionate? It hurt me to the very core to this day. Yeah, you understand? Okay. Because she could have, I was thinking suicide. Ooh, wow. You understand? It's real. Yeah, it's real. We, we agree. We won't so, ignore your feelings. So, um, when I tell my boss, this is what, when they go now, somebody happened to tell, and when they go through and they call all the other people that she was going, this is what she was going to people. Ooh. So wow. you caught up. You see, you don't do that because when you have something in here, it's hard enough to build it up. To talk about to it. To talk about it. Mm -hmm. Then to have somebody who said they go to school, study this thing to help you, killing you instead. Mm -hmm. wow. Trust me, I've been through abuse and I know what it is. Mm -hmm. So I just get very angry mm -hmm. yeah. when I hear people talking about this. And that is why the black community is so enclosed because black people is not open-minded. Trust me on that. If it wasn't for my mother and my faith, I would not be alive here today. I agree. I went through hell and back. Yeah. But then, can I speak now? Yes, you can. I'm done with it. <laughs> yes, release. You're released, right? That's we good. love let it. Me, Thank let you. me address you. 
not all counselors are counselors. You hear? Didn't you hear me say that? Okay. Yeah. Not everybody is the same, so please don't judge all counselors in the in that category. Um, black counselors. No, I I'm a black counselor. Say. Yeah, but you're <laughs> a counselor <laughs> too. Yeah, exactly. exactly. What she does every day. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So not everybody is the same, and I'm not gonna pick up for her and say what she do is right because it is wrong for one she never build a rapport with you for two she never um allow you to feel comfortable you know what i mean and that's wrong but that's all i can do is apologize for her no no apologize for her no, no, but no, because no, I would never because it, But look how it affected her life. Even if it affected her life, even if she's so passionate, passionate about it, it. even if I her it, over it, this is me. I am. Let me tell you something, right? Camera, no camera. I should be the big, biggest bitch sitting down here and be the meanest person on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. You understand? But me, I had no health, self esteem. I built it back up, mm -hmm. and I'm the most forgiving person you could find. And when I forgive, I really do forgive. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because let me tell you something. Unforgiveness almost kill me. Yes. Mm -hmm. You he understand? Us, yes, he did tell us. And trust me, when you don't, when you don't forgive people, you carry around that burden while that scumbag <laughs> is, living, is living their life True. while you dying inside. Even if you have a smiling face, you're dying inside. True. You understand? Yeah. So trust me on that one. Yes, and I don't lump people up. Until I get to know you and see if you're a bitch, then Damn. that's it. So but I, I don't, <laughs> I don't paint that. I would never paint you as a counselor because of that woman, mm. right? I'm, but do you I'm still sure she tell people to go use the tools, or do you oh, tell no. them? No, okay. no, 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 no. I tell people, but then I use sometimes my life thing mm -hmm. to yeah. tell people because sometimes some people let me tell you something. you see when you go through any kind of abuse whether it's sexual abuse or any kind of verbal abuse or whatever it is it's good to be real with people and it's good to talk about it because yes. if you keep it inside of you you will be so hurt you will go around hurting people and i'm talking from experience hurt people hurt people hurt people hurt people i used to go around and hurt people mm -hmm. i would be listen you see me now this is the best of me trust me because let me tell you something man i was the most angriest person out there and i believe if you do me something i sit and plot out to get back to you if it take me 30 years i'm getting back to you it's now i have to be talking to myself and saying you know what you know worth it so when you see me go to my phone and black and delete you praise god you get off good you god get a no but that's what you do and you this, understand and this so will make this you a good exactly counselor what I'm because saying. you go I'm through that through so, and i will tell people this and sometimes you even talk to God, you even God my mother too, even God me did mother too. Sometimes I'm like, God, why you put me in this? Is it because I want, I'm a counselor and I need experience where I have to go through it myself? You know what I mean? So I can tell you about hungry and bitter because I was like that. I was like that. I angry with my mom, I angry with my dad, I angry with my family. Right now, she cut on my family, I cut off. Because what? I have the choice. I've learned. I have the choice to deal with you or not to deal with you. And I choose not to deal with you to have a same mind. Yeah. With that being said, we will close off of this <laughs> question. <laughs> Woo! Because that was good. Wow. It was really good. It was really good. Yeah, and I thank you for I those like who be honest and open mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. understand that, you know what? There is some stuff that we go through that really create who we are. Again, I want to thank you all for opening up yourselves. And thank you again for participating in this project, the Hair For You Project.